Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to let's play Paper the Lost Chapters on the PC. Last time, we freed the Bordello from Grope, and then immediately gave it back over to the prostitute so it could become a refuge for women. So, no more pimping. Oh well, that's a shame. Today, we're going to go ahead and do some side quests or exploration. One of the two. We're going to explore Bowerstone North and possibly do that side quest... Hey, you know what? We'll probably just do the side quest at the same time. Yeah, so that's our goal right now. Is we're going to be doing some side quests here in Bowerstone North. Uh, let's go collect our rent real fast. We're not we're not getting a whole lot of money out of this. For some reason, I thought you got way more money than he did. I think I was thinking of Fable 2, where there's a way to manipulate the Xbox 360 clock to get a fat chunk of money out of it. Like, millions of gold. Just by setting the clock forward a couple of years or something stupid like that. And I definitely remember using that. Oh, sorry, chicken, I was going the other way, but whatever. There you go. Ooh, that got some distance right there. I don't know where he went, but I got some distance. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the Bowerstone North. Actually, one second. Alright, let's go ahead and continue on here. Decide to check, some, check something real fast. And... Yeah, let's go check out Bowerstone North. There are two quests you can do. You can take both of the quests at the same time, but you can only complete one of them due to the nature of the quest. Well, what I'll probably do is I'll take one, show it to you, reset, and then do the other one. Simply for the fact that you get extra rewards for doing one quest over the other, I'm pretty sure. I'd steer clear of the holding cell. We've got a real nutcase in there. Huh, okay. Well, we'll worry about that later then, I guess. Hey! How you guys doing? I think you guys just have a shop, right? I don't think there's any silver keys here in Bowerstone North. At least not that I saw. Seems all right. Oh, yes! Hey! Got a lower dress. Awesome. Hey! You guys got anything else in here? No? It looks like that might have been get up. That might have been just enough to get rid of our butterflies or close to it. Another upper dress. Yeah, we're racking up the evil points. Oh well, that's a shame. Ooh, bright villager gloves. Very nice. There's a couple of shops in here, but I'm not sure if they're anything worthwhile. I thought there was a shop in here at least. How you guys doing? Great, it's you. Oh, we're already, we're already in this house. Okay. We don't need to go in here for anything, huh? Let's go ahead and check out the other houses. Some of, some of your guys' houses are Hooray! rather big, but very sparsely furnished. Oi! Like, you got this giant floor here, Hooray! and then a table, and that's it. And Oi! a dresser. But you don't have any, any more tables or chairs for guests or anything like that. I don't know, it's just a bit sparse, for whatever reason. Uh, I think this is a shop right here. Yeah. Okay, what do you guys got in here? Deathbringer. The one and only Deathbringer. Hello. Ha. You've come to the right place. You guys got some clothing stuff. Let's grab that, I guess. Guard shirt. I think we actually, yeah, we need we need that to complete our guard outfit. And then what else? You got some weapons. It looks like, I'm not sure if you actually can carry more than one type of weapon at a time, because I have a Master Greatsword in stock, and this lady has, or this guy has two to sell, but they won't sell it to me for some reason. I don't know. Ooh, the Solus Greatsword. I didn't realize you could buy this. The Legendary Solus of the Mystical Dragon Fighters. I can't read the rest of it, but 75,000, and it does a ton of damage. 314, Flame Augmentation, Health Augmentation, Sharpening Augmentation. Okay, sure, I'll be glad to take that off your hands. So with the Health Augmentation, that means your health will regenerate slowly, so that's pretty damn nice. Master Crossbow, we don't need that. Items, you got all the good stuff right there, I'll take those. Let's see, ooh, Black Roses. 
Despite their startling qualities, most people find black flowers distasteful. Only someone with a heart as dark as his petals would truly appreciate it. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take those. And you might as well just clear out the rest of these guys. I don't really need the wedding rings, but you know what? Whatever. I might have a use for them at some point. We'll see. Produce. Okay, you got we got a ton of tofu. Wow, that's actually a pretty decent amount. In case I need to go from evil to good. Because at some point, I do want to go evil to get that final rank of Berserk. That's probably not going to be for a while, though. Others... Ooh, you got health augmentation? Nice, I'll take that. Doll of You. We already own one of them. Ooh, Thunder Hero Doll. I guess we already have that one, too. Okay. Yeah, might as well buy them anyway. Screw it. We're not going to get the other dolls because they're a pain in the ass to get. So we might as well just get the ones that we actually have. Your new weapon will be held for you until you leave. You That's a shame. How is our cash at the moment? Oh yeah, that cleaned us out like a hundred thousand-ish. Hello. I don't know if this counts as stealing or not, but we'll see. Five hundred gold. Am okay, cool. It, right? it doesn't look like it counted as stealing. Awesome. Wow. Great. You go away. I want to talk to your you. wife. No, she doesn't care. Hooray. She kind of likes me, but not really. Wonderful. Try to see what this says right here. Hooray. No, I guess we can't read it. Oh well. All right, so we got ourselves a nice new weapon right there. Uh, let's see. That's where the crazy lady's being held, or crazy person, or whatever. So if we want to go down there, we can talk to them. Nothing. Everyone here has a double-decker house. Like, it's pretty awesome that they're able to afford all this stuff. Uh, I don't think you guys have anything I'm really concerned about, so I'm not going to worry about stealing your stuff. Okay, so there's that. What is down here? Ah, I think this is the uh, Grey Manor where Lady Grey lives, yeah. So you can talk to her. I'm not going to do that just yet. And then over here is her excellent house, which we're not allowed in because, well, we're not. It's her house. She's the mayor. We're not allowed in there. So there are two things to do with Lady Grey. One, you can talk her right now, and you can start courting her and eventually marry her. Or, we can go talk to that crazy person over on the other side of town real fast, and start a different quest. You can start both quests at the same time, however, I'm just going to do both quests individually. The quest that I'm going to do second is slightly is a slightly more evil option, but you get more items out of it. Specifically, access to a demon door. So that's why I'm going to that's why I'm going to want to do that one second. Hello. Hmm. You know, a man of your status ought to pay a visit to the mayor. She lives in Bowerstone Manor, the big building over by the shop. Yeah, I'll think about it, but. Not yet. Give me a little while. I'll get over there at some point, but not yet. Okay, we talked to you. Now, what's in here? This is not the jail, I don't think. Mud and chop beard. I don't know why that guy's eyes were red in the picture, but okay. Your lordship, worship by all. Okay, you guys do your thing. That's actually a pretty neat little globe, or astral globe, or whatever it is. Oh, look, we got our butterflies still. Good for us. Deathbringer, a true hero. All right, you're in the way. Let's go ahead and talk to. What's over here, actually? Oh, it goes into the jail. Huh? I don't think I've ever actually. Oh, this goes. Okay, this will eventually lead us to our next story area. Actually, while we're here, real fast, one one second here. Okay, there are some silver keys here we can grab real fast, and this will enable this will enable us to get that. This will enable us to get that twenty silver key chest over in the guild. 
So that would actually be pretty nice. Let's see. Our Solus Great Sword. Let's check that out. Kind of crooked, but I like it. Actually, actually, that's really nice. And yeah, your health regenerates with that. So that's actually pretty cool. So let me see here if I can't find the two demon, the two silver keys that we're gonna find here. I don't want to go too far. Then again, we can't actually advance too far in the story until we actually take the quest. So that's fine. Piercing augmentation, yay! Oh, but apparently I looked, I looked up what the piercing augmentation augmentation actually does. What it does is it doesn't reduce enemy armor on all enemies. It's primarily against stuff like trolls that actually have armor in the first place to reduce. Sheriff mustache, nice. I think isn't that the one we already have? No, we have the like the Fu Manchu or something like that. Ebony longbow, that's not bad, I guess. Yeah, I think you can only get multiple copies of weapons if you... If you, uh, find them laying around. After buying them. Okay, so there should be some over here. Well, there's that right there. You know, let's just go ahead and do this real fast. This way when you go through, this way when you go through the area with the main quest, we can just kind of fly right through the place. There you go. These silver keys or whatever just really put up quite the fight. That is a wedding ring. That put up a huge fight for no real good reason, but okay. Okay, Scarecrow, I don't need to talk to you. I need to go to... Oh, you guys are you guys are just regular enemies. Um, or actually, you're not regular enemies. You're the undead dudes. You know what? We can go ahead and just take these guys real fast. That's fine. Pop that back on. Wow, we are just destroying these guys with this. That's actually fantastic. Yeah, just one hit just destroys them. That's beautiful. Nothing interesting in the abandoned house. That's a shame. Okay, I think the first demon... Or not demon. Silver key is around here somewhere. Ah, son of a bitch. Go ahead. I actually want these guys to do a little bit of damage to me. That way we can see how much the health regen actually does. Two hits. That's perfect. Okay, so here's our first key or key right here. And this will bring us up to 20, so that'll be real nice. Nice. Awesome. Okay, then we got to get to over there where that windmill is, and that'll be our other key. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these. Get nothing in there. Oh, mana potion. I guess that's not bad. Go on, hit me. Hit me a few times. There you go. And yeah, see, even with just the one health augmentation we got there, our health is going up reasonably fast. It's not going up ridiculously fast, but fast enough that it's noticeable. Like every time it goes up, you can actually see the little the little tick where it goes up. So that's actually not too shabby at all. Anyways, while we're here... Yeah, I guess we gotta kill you two. Okay, not quite what I was going for, but you know, I'll take it. Grab that. What do we got over here in the actual windmill? Not a whole lot. A couple mana potions. Health potion and a little bit of gold. Okay, fair enough. And then there should be another area for us to dig around in over around here. Gotta find it real fast. We're actually getting distracted from our side quest, but oh well. And we have an extra file. 
I don't know if we actually got anything for that now that we have max files in the first place, but oh well. Ah, there we go. We gotta get to that little circle of land down there. Eyes of a Killer. I don't think that was one of the books we had to turn in, was it? Eh, whatever. Let's go around this way. Yeah, okay, right over here. Cool. Perfect. And... Nothing else in there. Oh, we got a golden carrot. That's nice. And a tre another treasure clue. Cool. So that's, I think, four out of six. By the way, with this treasure, you can actually dig it up. It just becomes much, much, much better when you actually have all the clues. Your reward is buried at the end of your trail. Pro proceed as directed to your Twix wood and bale. Okay, uh, for those that don't understand slightly older English, Twixt is between. So there we go. Uh, I'll go ahead and just meet you guys at the Guild Wood, so I'll be right back. And by Guild Woods, I just mean, you know, the Guild training area, where the chest is. So let's check it out real fast. The Murin Great Hammer. That sounds awesome. I don't think it's going to be quite as good as our great sword that we got there, but you know, whatever. 270, experience augmentation and piercing augmentation. That's actually not bad. I don't know if the augmentation for experience affects stuff like. affects stuff like, um. Where are our augmentations? Like the stuff you get from, like potions or whatever. I doubt. I doubt it does. Though. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But at the very least, you could use it to get a little bit of experience for just fighting regular enemies. But oh well. Uh, let's see. Speaking of experience, how is our experience at the moment? We have. A whole bunch of will experience. Okay, we can probably just go do that real fast. Just level that up. I'm not going to level up anything else, really. Just get that out of the way. Because why not? You guys are in the way. And we'll head back to Bowerstone. And probably only do one part of the quest. Or the first part of the... One of the quests, since I spent too much time putzing around here. But oh well. Uh, yeah, I, I know you got stuff for me. I'm not really interested in the moment. Rescue the archaeologist. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. Skill. Accuracy for the bow. Or guile. Yeah, let's, go, let's grab some more guile, since that's good for selling stuff. And that costs 52,000. Versus 20,000 for the ranged weapon stuff. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and get Guile for the extra money from all the selling and stuff that I do. So that's reasonably worth it, in my opinion. Let's see. Spells. Don't think there's anything here that I actually care about at the moment. We could get a little more magic power, that's actually not a bad idea. And it's only going to dip a little bit into our other experience. Yeah, might as well. Gives us a little more mana, that's awesome. And it also helps out with, what is it, extra, um, extra hits with our physical shield. So, that works out pretty good. And then for strength... Yeah, we need... A fair amount there. We could get physique right now and just do ridiculous damage with our sword that we got, but screw it. Why not? We have all the experience, so might as well use it. And we have forty-eight thousand left. We can get toughness. Let's do that. There you go. 
and physique. No, we need 58,000 on health. That's fine. We'll get that sooner rather than later. So, okay. So much for not Your leveling anything else up, but I can take it. And let's go back to Bowerstone North, our recall point. Save up one more time, and then start this quest here. That's a weird picture right there with... I'm not sure what that is right there on the side. It, I, I, I always thought it was like a little demon or something, but now that I look at it, it looks like the, the guild symbol... And then the world is getting sucked into the symbol for some reason. But I always used to think it was like a little demon head spitting out the map or sucking in the map or something. I wasn't sure what's going on there. I'm still not, but whatever. Anyways, saved up. Let's go ahead and talk Enjoy to the, the, the crazy. Time. Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. Why? The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions around here. That mm -hmm. woman is a demon. But no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches and I'll be executed. Let's investigate the death of Lady Grey's sister. Uh, if you're playing the original Fable, you can still do a fair chunk of this quest, but you can't finish it, uh, I'm pretty sure. Yes, finally! We're going to bring that crazy witch down! All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. Don't give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them, I've seen them, we've all seen them! Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy, usually hangs out in barrow fields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. Crop circles, abductions, nymph... Haven't you spoken to Rodri yet? I told you, he's in barrow fields. Okay, uh, barrow fields, if you remember, is over by Oakvale. So let's go... Oh no, I guess it's right there. Never mind. Yeah, it's, it's right by Oakvale, though. Okay. So let's go find Rodri and see what he says about Amanda Gray, Lady Gray's sister. Uh, let's see. It might be that green dot down there, since that's the only green dot on the map. Fair enough. Was this where we did... I think this is where we did that, that quest where we accidentally killed all the traitors. Life is pointless. Were you here before? Pointless. I don't remember. Amanda... Yes, of course, I knew her. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful, so pure. She was afraid her sister would find out about us and use it against her, stop her from becoming mayor. I'm no noble after all. So we'd meet in secret in the Grey House cellar. I would sneak out to the stables and flash my lamp three times to let her know I was there. One night, she didn't come out, and I found the cellar door locked. Her sister, Elvira, Lady Grey as she's now known, told me she had died of some terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned, and I never even got to... I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about. Okay, so we gotta go to the Grey House and then flash our lantern three times. My poor, sweet Amanda. How could illness take you from me? Okay, so let's go do that real fast. Actually, this quest might not be as long as I thought it was. We'll still just do the whole marrying Lady Grey later. Again, exposing her murder, or the murder that she does, is the good path, but you get... Items that you wouldn't get otherwise. Specifically, the demon door and a legendary weapon by marrying her. So as much as I'd rather just expose her, well, oh well. I think you have to go... He said the stables, right? So we have the stables. Let's go ahead and grab our lantern out. 
because we have that we have that from the beginning of the game and there we go Go ahead and put our charge back on. You know, I didn't get a good look at her right there, but just from behind, she looks like she's more attractive than Lady Grey because Lady Grey is not the the best looking, in my opinion, which is a real shame. Okay, you're just gonna not die right away. That's a shame. But we get some experience. There you go. Come on, wake up. There you go. Yeah, we'll probably get most of our experience back for getting that last level of strength reasonably soon here. It doesn't seem like it's going to be too far off. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and kill these guys anyways just for that little bit. You know what, let's go ahead and put the mirror and great hammer on just for that extra little bit of experience that we're gonna get out of it. How you guys doing? There you go. I like it. I want the physical experience. There you go. Perfect. Give me all that. And... Ooh, come here. Stop blocking. There you go. You know, while we're here, let's go ahead and pop that Ages of Wheel Potion that we have. Because that'll give us some experience. Oh, we have an Ages of Might as well. You know, let's just go ahead and use both of them. There we go. So what do we got experience wise? We have 26,000 on the... Okay, we have 27,000 on the strength and 26,000 on the will, so not not bad. We still need, I think, another... I think it was, what, 48 or 50,000 for that final level of health there? So a little more general experience than we'll have it. That's pretty awesome. Anyways, let's go ahead to the cellar where, by the way, in case you forgot, this demon door right here is the one that's going to open when we marry Lady Grey. There's no other wife with a title that you can get, as far as I'm aware. So, you have to marry Lady Grey to get through that door. But yeah, let's go ahead and go through the cellar here. Which is unlocked now that we have flashed our lantern at her. Rodri, is that you? I've waited for you so long and I... Wait, you're not Rodri. I prayed that he would rescue me, but he never came. When the air ran out, I closed my eyes and imagined I was dying in his arms. Now I'll never see him again. And my sister has taken everything. People must know the truth about her. Take this letter. Show the world what really happened. So you died down here, didn't leave any loot. I mean, I suppose there's the one treasure chest, but okay. There's a lot of air in here, so I wonder how I wonder how long it actually took her to to suffocate with all the air, because I always thought that air would come in through like the slats of the cellar door, and you'd be pretty good to go for a decent a decent while. Let's go ahead and pop that Willmaster's elixir. There you go. And... Scrawled Parchment. So, now you know the truth. 
Amanda was a weak, romantic fool. She didn't have what it takes to run Bowerstone. She would have turned the whole place into an egalitarian slum. But don't worry your pretty head with such big words. We can still be together. You can still have me. Wouldn't you like to be mayor? Think of the power. It can all be yours. Just hand over the letter. Okay, so you actually have two choices here. You can cover up the murder and marry Lady Grey. That completely bypasses the other quest where you have to court her and do a bunch of other stuff to marry her. Because you can just marry her right on the spot here. Or you can say no and expose her. What? No one refuses Lady Grey. No one. You're just like the rest of those imbeciles. Infecting my city with their petty little lives. Fine then. Tell everyone. Have your moment of glory. But I will return one day. And I will wash away all the filth with your blood. Remember that, hero. So as you can see, she's not the nicest lady, that's for sure. But again, you get a weapon out of marrying her. So, there we go. Okay, so we managed to undo that, which is great. Uh, while we're here, let's just go ahead and kill these idiots again real fast. Why not? And yeah, now that we have exposed her, we are the mayor of Bowerstone, which means we can go ahead and explore Bowerstone Manor, which is pretty cool. We get a couple items out of that. But we're going to get those same items once we kill him. Once we marry her anyway, so it's not the biggest deal if we say no now. I'm not going to worry about that guy. I want to go talk to Rodri and see what he says, and then also head back to the crazy person over in the jail cell. I mean, obviously he's not entirely crazy. He knew what he was talking about with this at the very least, but the whole poisoned water with the guards. He's a bit off his rocker. At the very, at the very minimum, just a little bit. Oh, come on. There we go. And kill you. Okay. So let's go see what Roger has to say and then head back to town real fast and that'll do it for the episode. Oh. I guess I casted multi-arrow by accident. Oh well. Let's see, you are right down there. Okay. By the way, if you choose to marry Lady Grey at that point and come back and talk to him, he he'll ask you why you're taunting better. him by marrying that evil and wench I'm... or something like that. Oh, Amanda, my love. Now you know. You must make sure that justice is done. Life is, you know, the truth now. Bowerstone must be told. Okay, so let's go back to Bowerstone then. Luckily, we still have that recall point, I do believe. Yes, we do. After this, Lady Grey passed through here earlier, and it looked like she was leaving for good. Now, if you would just tell the sheriff to let me out, he might even have a reward for you. Unless he's secretly Jack of Blades in a cunning disguise. Yes, that would make sense. I'll have to tell everyone as soon as I'm free. You might as well just leave him in there. They don't want you to know the truth. Okay, where is the sheriff? Let's see. What do you have to say? Because you wanted us to court her Lady Grey anyways, right? Oh, she doesn't say anything. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. 
One of you guys is a sheriff. Unbelievable. You. So get him was right all along. Well, I suppose we'd better release him. He'd better not start that nonsense about me spiking the water supply again, no? If he does, you have my permission to toss it back we'll in there. We'll have to find a new mayor, too. Huh. I don't suppose you'll be interested in the job. You have proved your worth, after all. I'm sure, why not? And there we go. We are mayor, so we can actually head into the house right there. Awesome. However, our victory is short-lived as we are going to reload our save next episode and marry Lady Grey and get into the house that way. So, off-screen I'm going to go ahead and refight those ghosts to use my potions again. And then, next episode, we'll meet back here to court Lady Grey, despite the fact that she's evil, because we get some good stuff out of it. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.